Hello everyone, welcome to LMC Varsity Sports. I'm Rob Moretti, we're here at Memorial Field at Mamaroneck High School. It's a field hockey matchup, the Mamaroneck Tigers hosting the Greenwich Cardinals. Uh, two teams with similar records, two powerhouse schools. Uh, Greenwich comes in eight and two, Mamaroneck at eight, two and one. Uh, all three of the Tigers' uh, 11 games that didn't finish uh, in victories actually were against very strong opponents. They had losses to uh, Lakeland and Oak Knoll, New Jersey, and a tie was to Horace Greeley. Uh, Maranek looking to build on it. It's been a couple of strong years here for the program. Two straight Section 1 titles, a regional championship last year, and a lot of that core is back this year. They're off to a good start, 8-2-1 through 11 games. Game number 12 on their schedule is coming up next on LMC TV. Back here for the opening hit, it will be the Cardinals taking it. They'll have the first possession, it was taken by Augustina Ferrario. And the Cardinals play it back. And now they'll try to set up a rush. They'll stay with the Cardinals after that infraction. So we said in the opening, both teams, eight wins, two losses, only difference is the one tie the Marinick had against Horace Greeley. Probably their top competition this year in Class A. Guadalupe Belager will have the hit here. Just 40 seconds in, 30 minutes per half here in high school field hockey. On a Thursday afternoon that'll turn into an evening. Weather not terrible. It was a sunny day, it's becoming overcast, but the earlier forecasts were for rain, so someone tell Coach Savage, we came and it doesn't look like it's going to rain. Greenwich plays it back. And not legally, Tiger is right away on it. They play it up quickly. That was Caitlin Rogoff. Hard shot comes all the way through. And it will be a Greenwich hit. So Tigers didn't possess for very long, but they nearly generated a scoring chance out of it. Now that vaunted Tiger gap defense will take over here. Tigers still moving the ball well. They'll have a free hit here. Laney Pearson plays it in. Out in front of the net, still loose. No one able to put a stick to it and it is cleared away. I believe that was Ashley Zolin on it for the Cardinals with the clearing hit. Cardinals got some numbers together. That's Ferrario. Tigers will have the hit here. Pearson sends it all the way up. Zolan gets in the way. And the Cardinals will once again try to push it over midfield. Can't do it with possession though. Tigers intercept. This is Jacoby Candle who sends it up the field. Stopped there by Kate Petrakowski. Tigers able to stop it around the 25 yard line. This is Rogoff who sends it further up the sideline for Ava Gristina. She centers and chasing it there for a couple of Tigers, but no use. Comes all the way up. And stifled there by Sophie Showers. As the Cardinals were gaining some momentum. 
Instead, it's a Tiger hit and hold everything. We've got a whistle. And it looks like they'll set that one back up. Just about four minutes in. Possession's been about even. The Tigers <laughs> have had the better scoring chances. Really only one that was a, a bona fide chance. And the whistle will give it to Greenwich. They'll re-spot it across midfield. Natalie Molland in there playing some good defense. It rolls toward the sideline and out. Christina there took the brunt of the contact, but couldn't quite force the turnover. This is Pearson, one of the top returners on this squad, who sent it up, it goes out, and it will be a Greenwich hit. Balliger sent it toward the middle of the field for Petrakowski. They'll play it back to Zolan. Playing it back can be risky if you've got a team with a strong forecheck like the Tigers that doesn't, uh, doesn't really allow you to move freely through the field. By the way, Sarah Nitus is in the well in front of the cage for the Tigers today. Samantha Moreska getting a day off, but she's been having a tremendous season. Which I believe played in the Junior Olympics over the summer, so quite an accomplishment for the junior. One battled for. They'll have the free hit there. Stop everything. And what is the call? It's a green card being issued to Ferrario. Just the warning, but she will have to come out. It goes to Greenwich. High sweeping hit comes down to the 40 yard line, intercepted there. It was Natalie Mollen who got in the way of it and dribbled near the sideline, stays in. Set up by Janice for Greenwich. Set further up the field, it's Christina coming in from the corner. Centering pass, couldn't connect. Stay a Tiger hit. Rogoff out to Candle. Molland, Candle again. Swing and a miss there by Pearson on a sweet pass attempt. She gets it back though. Pearson plays it up, deflection goes wide. Pearson saw Caitlin Rogoff on the doorstep and took a shot at it. And Rogoff just could not deflect it into the goal past goalie Georgia Pastore.
That's some next level field hockey right there. Mullen sends it up. Christina. And that's out of bounds for a Greenwich hit. Just about nine minutes in, no score here. Glad you could join us here on LMC Varsity Sports. I'm Rob Moretti. Some interstate field hockey. Greenwich from just over the border in Connecticut. Took the trip, I assume, down I-95. Not the only interstate games of Marinick that uh, has, has had scheduled this year. Of course, we mentioned earlier, one of their losses came to national powerhouse Oak Knoll in New Jersey. When you contend for section and state titles every year, you, you want to schedule the games against the top opponents, whether they're going to count as league section games or not. <laughs> Help prepare you for the level of competition at the later stages of the playoffs. That hit stays in, it's blown dead. Tiger hit. They'll switch it into the center of the field. That one stopped up. The Tigers steal it right back. Comes through, big hit. This could be a shot, it is, but it's kicked away by Pastore. It was a good look, ball stays in here. Fighting for it was Gristina. No penalty corners for either team, first 11 minutes of the game. Playing some good back and forth action. Ball hasn't been inside the circle all that much. But Tigers have had a couple of chances there and give Greenwich credit. Not only they stopped the goal, they didn't commit the foul either. Got to play some good textbook field hockey defense to get that done. And sometimes even then you have to get a little lucky. Stopped by Showers. Played up. Greenwich had it briefly. Now it goes to the Tigers. Mullen taps it up further for Rogoff. Now Pearson. Pearson dribbling, trying to work around some traffic here, can't quite do it. Tapped up the field where Showers will meet it. No contact there, no call. Mollen was trying to get in there to steal it away instead. It's a free hit earned by Donna Pastore, taken by Balliger. And Gristina breaks free down the side. Gristina dodges a defender. Backhand sweep, couldn't find a teammate. Kicked away by Pastore. And it will be a Tigers. 25 yard hit. Excuse me, it's a penalty corner. So that'll be our first of the game. 16.40 left at this point here in the first half. 
Scoreless, Tigers have threatened much more than Greenwich. Comes into showers. She flicks it through, does it count? Yes. Sophie showers straight through everyone to make it one nothing. And it was the pass that came right into Showers. She had to shoot it from inside that scoring circle unless there was a deflection that we didn't see. <coughs> Just threw a laser beam right down Central. So we'll mark that down as showers unassisted. Nearly halfway through the first half. The Tigers, the question coming into the season was the offense. They knew that between uh, Maresca and all the returners on the back end, that they'd be pretty darn elite defensively, but you've got to put the ball in the back of the other team's cage or else you just keep playing a scoreless ties. And to their credit, Tigers only have the one tie. So they've been finding ways to score. As that hit, a bit too strong, comes all the way up and out. And Ashley Zolan will chase it down and hit it in for the Cardinals. The lift pass to about midfield, stopped there by Amanda Zerbib. But the hit will go to Greenwich. Little backhand sweep, Tigers handling at midfield. Taken away by Ibarra for the cards. sent further up and out. It's going to be a Greenwich hit in. <coughs> Tigers right there to slow it down. It was Gristina with the initial contact. A little friendly fire there. And that's going to give it back to Greenwich. And they play it up quickly. It's Justine Ligori. This one comes up, Rogoff, she'll earn the hit, and she will decide to set it up. This is Pearson who is harassed and loses it. The Greenwich hit 13.30 left first half. And Greenwich has been probably playing their best field hockey after giving up the goal, is now breaking away with it as Janice. She doesn't quite have a good angle, tries to play it back into the middle. And that will be a penalty corner for Greenwich, their first of the game. About three and a half minutes after the Tigers scored their goal off a penalty corner. Looks like Zolan will hit it in. They play it up top, way up top. Pass it around. O'Donnell with a touch, O'Donnell still with it, and it'll be another corner. <clears throat> so Zolan will set it up once again. 
Greenwich trying to tie this game up. Played up to Ligori. Tigers block the shot. Another chance here for Zolan. It bleeds into the middle of the goal mouth. And the call goes against Greenwich. Tiger ball. Ballon tried to get in the way of it. Ended up committing a foul. Blogger played it over to Jana Pastore, and she'll get a free hit. Pastore plays it back to Balliger. This is Gans, who makes a nifty pass there to Zolan on the other side of the field. Her pass comes out to Petrakowski. And will that stay in? It will, down the far side. Stolen. This could be another chance for Greenwich if they hurry. As always, the Tigers defenders are quick to the ball. And that makes it nearly impossible for Ellie Ibarra to get through. Whistle gives it back to Greenwich. Lift pass. Stick down. And it looks like we've got a timeout on the field. 10.31 to go, first half. Tiger is up, 1-0. Greenwich threatening. We'll be right back. We are back following the timeout. Tiger's trying to clear this ball out and preserve a 1-0 lead here in the late stages of the first half. They don't get it done there. It'll be a free hit for Petrakowski and the Cardinals. And that pass goes wide, out of bounds. There's a break for the Tigers. Battle at the 40-yard line. Whistle blows. It's a Greenwich hit. Lights have just come on here at Memorial Field. We expected this one to carry us into the evening. Some Thursday night football tonight. Won't be worth watching. Giants Patriots. Giants entire offense is hurt. Game five Astros and Rays. Much better bet. But we've got one here, a 1-0 game with nine minutes left in the first half. And finally, the Tiger is able to push it into enemy territory as Rogoff chases it down before the end line, a centering pass. This could be a scoring chance and the defense for the Cardinals able to flush it away. Out of bounds and a Greenwich hit. That one comes all the way up the field. Tiger defenders are there. That's Candle who's able to slow it down. Mollen sends it up further. Midfield battle right on the M. Mollins and Rogoff in there. Rogoff earns the hit. Tigers send it back the way they'd like it to go. Belager was on it. It'll be a Tigers. Is that a penalty corner? Just inside the scoring circle. It will be a penalty corner. 
Borderline call. Tigers second of the game. They scored on the first one. And it'll be Rogoff sending it in. Sophie Showers is lurking up top of the formation. She scored the first goal from Amerenik. Doesn't get to her. A smack and a save by Pastore. Another chance as the ball still loose. Player hits the deck inside the circle. No call. And we play on. Will be a Tiger hit here. Set up and stopped up. Was Candle. And Molland there with Candle trying to settle it up. Instead, it comes all the way up down the sideline. It'll stay in. Showers was back there to send it out off of Demi Janis and earn the hit here for the Tigers. Some tight quarters. Ball was out. <coughs> it's a Tiger hit. It'll be taken by Jacoby Candle. It's Pearson at midfield who passes. That one goes off of Jonna Pastore. Tigers retain possession. Not anymore after that one. Tigers, as they tend to do, they are tough to clear on as that one is sent and actually kept in. Nice job there by Natalie Molland. Thought that one was ticketed for the sideline, but stopped it an inch or two short. Kept play going. And that one comes up, Christina chasing. She's not going to get to it first. Zolan still dribbling. Tries to clear it out. Meanwhile, Malin tries to steal it back in there with Rogoff. It'll be a free hit from not too far outside the shooting circle here. Candle sent it across, a swing and a miss by Zerbib. That's a Greenwich ball. 4.15 left first half. Tigers clinging to a 1-0 lead. Greenwich trying to mount another rush before halftime. Tigers have had the upper hand in this one so far, but the Cardinals have certainly had a few chances to try to knock this game up. Zolan tries to clear. This is Janice on it now for the Cardinals. Janice just takes it down the wing. Shower stops it up. It's a Tiger hit. Just over three minutes left in the half. Deflection sends it to midfield. Played further up, Tiger hit. Christina played it quickly, give and go. And still live and a penalty corner awarded. Two forty left to go.
one played in. They might have gotten a past story. She stopped it. Play still live here for the Tigers. And they do award another corner here with two minutes to go in the half. Once again, Rogoff sending it in. Bouncer sent through and out. So Greenwich with a 16 yard hit. And stolen, not so fast. Pretty sure she has to touch it first. We'll go to the lift pass once again. Looking for O'Donnell. Back the other way it goes. One minute left in the half. Sent all the way up. Rogoff, a diving save by Pastore. Did a, did a split while kicking it away and trying to dodge Rogoff. Tigers keep it alive. Greenwich trying to stuff this Tiger threat, but they won't go away easy. This one dumped into the corner. And it goes out for a Greenwich hit. 30 seconds left in the half. The way the Tigers have been stopping it up, Greenwich might want to take their time here and just let time run out. Instead, Christina sends it toward the center, nobody home. 15 seconds, stopped up by Showers. Set further up with eight seconds. Four seconds, free hit. And that will do it for the first half. Tigers couldn't quite get it into the circle and try to earn a corner, which would have extended the half. Instead, we go to halftime. One nothing Tigers will be right back on LMC TV. We return to start the second half. Tigers have the lead, Tigers have the ball. And on the whistle we will begin. Pearson played it back and then tried to flip it up. But instead, it's Greenwich who tried to push it. Now sent up toward the Cardinal bench, stays in. Tigers able to retreat. I believe that was Molland in there who dug it out. Janice brings it up for Greenwich. It'll be a Cardinal hit. Played all the way up to O'Donnell. She tried to get it through. Instead it's swept away. And out of bounds, it'll be a Tiger hit in. The first part of the first half leading up to that Tiger goal, they were out playing Greenwich, but since then it has been more even out there. Greenwich has done a good job trying to generate some scoring chances. Tigers have Certainly kept their foot on the gas as well. There's Greenwich playing from behind now though. Reminder in case you're new to the sport of field hockey, at least around here. They don't play overtime in the regular season in New York State high school field hockey. They will in the postseason, but not in the regular season. Up. Sophia Velasco had a touch on it. Oh, 
played up towards Velasco. Had to go get her name at halftime. A few recent additions to this Tiger roster. As they stop that Greenwich threat. Play it away. And coming through with it. So good job, I believe that's Christina. And she also earns the free hit. So the Tigers will push some players up. Kept in or was it out? It was out. Close play there on the end line. That one chipped forward. Tigers trying to crash in, it's Rogoff. That one I think was saved by Pastore. And Greenwich trying to turn that into a rush. <laughs> Some whistles, this will be a Greenwich hit. Ibarra ends up losing it on the infraction. Tigers don't just want to play keep away here. It's a one goal game. Got to get some, like an insurance goal. Is that one stopped up nicely by Zerbib. Stopped that hard pass from getting through. This one is kept in. Tigers will head forward. It's Velasco. And now sent back up by Greenwich. It's Mika Lopez who had it up the sideline and now back on the other side of the field it goes. Bouncer. Mollen trying to handle it. Greenwich trying to make another chance. O'Donnell was challenged by Candle. And they will give the Tigers the hit here. Just about six minutes gone by in this first half. Tigers have had a bit of an edge in play this second half. This will be a Tiger hit. They play it quickly. Trying to chip it forward. It's Belager. Tigers get it back and try to center. Here come the Cardinals. Tigers stop it up. Challenge right around the 30 yard line. Pearson still handling and sort of a little contact, earned a hit. It's sent way up the field into the Tiger Bank, and of course, it won't go past Samantha Maresca because what does?
Tigers passing back and forth, shy midfield. Well, went out off of Greenwich, so it'll be a Tiger hit. Chipped up further. In the scoring area, a dog pile. Well, they've got to call something. They're still trying to figure out what the call is. So Pastore came in with a sliding save. And then just everyone piled up. And it looks like they're going to call her for covering up the ball. Tigers will have a penalty stroke. It looks like Laney Pearson will get to take it. Clock stopped at 21-23. Pearson v. Pastore. And the shot is scored. 2-0. So Laney Pearson, after the Tigers earn the penalty stroke, puts it through and doubles the Tiger lead. Don't see that every day. We've done, well, I've been doing field hockey games here for years. Might be the second or third penalty stroke I've seen. But that is the rule, the goalie cannot cover the ball. I think I said this earlier this season during a Ryan Eck broadcast, a bit of a unique twist of goalkeeping in field hockey is it's, I think it's the only sport where the goalie can't freeze the ball. It's not like ho uh, ice hockey where the you can glove the puck and, and freeze it for a faceoff. Even in soccer where you can catch it, lacrosse you can handle the ball as a goalie. but not in field hockey. You can stop it and you can whack it. And that's about it. And you can kick it. So that puts Greenwich behind the eight ball. Just over 20 minutes left to go. And they now trail by two. They had been generating a few scoring chances late in the first half. That has mostly gone by the wayside so far here in the second. That one sent all the way through, and it will be a Greenwich hit. Cardinals play that one back. I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to play the ball back against this Tigers team. Against any Tigers team. Historically on, in, in the sport of field hockey. It's just so hard to clear against them. Why would you put it further back? I know that against a lesser team, it could be a really sound strategy. Not a recipe for success against this squad. That one did go out, it'll be a Tiger hit. Trying to play it in, Tigers first to it. 
Another attempt, this time Shower stops it up. That one out of bounds, it will stay with Greenwich. Down here, 17 and a half minutes left. Set up the middle, right in the teeth of that Tiger defense. That'll be a Greenwich hit. Try to push through with it, into the circle it goes. Still in bounds, and I thought it went out and it did. <clears throat> The Tiger is able to send it away here. It's Velasco. Couldn't put it through. Greenwich takes it back the other way. Kayla Johnson handling for the Cardinals as she tries to send it up further. Couldn't quite connect. They do earn the free hit though. Quickly played by Ligori. And out it goes. you stick around following this game on LMC Varsity Sports. It's homecoming weekend at Rhineck. And we'll have that homecoming football game for you as the Black Hats take on Irvington. And we'll wrap this weekend up with some girls soccer at Rhineck as the Panthers host Westlake. This is Zolan who pushes it up the sideline and out. Good kick save by Coach Savage. Three-time state champion, Coach Savage. He was for actually a brief time the coach of Ameritech High School with the most state championships. Or actually, I think he was tied with Coach Schaap and then the hockey team decided to win a state championship. Coach Chaparelli's won three in baseball and one in hockey. This one sent up the sideline. It is staying in. 14.30 left to go. Renick's trying to break through here. <laughs> Whistle before that hit, but he'll get to do it again. Quick steal, a shot, Nidus with the save. I think that might have been her first of the game. It was a clean look, but a roller shot right at her. Not the most difficult save. And that one swept out.
Tigers clear that one up the field. I think that was Gristina who's trying to steal it and break away with it. Instead it's chipped up. And that one's going to be whistled for a dangerous play. Tigers will quickly come in and play it. Or perhaps they won't. They'll set up for the hit. Christina sent it up. It's cleared out. It will go out of bounds. Stays with Mamarinik. 12.30 left to play. With a two-goal lead here, Tigers can just start to play a little keep away. But if you know Coach John Savage, you know that he doesn't care what the score is. He wants it played right for the whole 60 minutes. <clears throat> Battle for that one. It will be a Tiger hit. They'll move it back a few yards first. Sent further up. Tigers stop it up. And they'll keep it here after the infraction is whistled. 11 minutes to play. Tigers stop it up. Nice pass up there to Sophia Velasco. And timeout on the field. 10.33 left to go. Tigers up 2-0. And they'll have the ball when we get back on LMC Varsity Sports. We return. It's Lily Margoski on the hit. And the Tigers just trying to make it through this past 10 minutes plus without giving up two goals. They'd like to give up zero goals. Margoski fighting for that one, doesn't earn it. Fraction gives it to Greenwich. Tigers stop that one up. Battled around the 30 yard line. They play it further up. Will it stay in? No. And so it'll be a hit for the Cardinals. Sent up further. After a Tiger steal, Greenwich earns the hit. Tigers might have some numbers here. Still with it, centering pass. Cardinals back on defense. That shot straight through, it scores! Laney Pearson with another after she scored earlier on the penalty stroke. Tigers lead 3-0. That's just good shot selection from Pearson. It's really easy when you're down low there to rush your shot. Usually you come up empty. She had the ball, was patient, saw a hole. 
slammed it right through. Tigers credit, they pushed, they scored the, the goal in the first half. Greenwich came back at them, generated a few chances there. Probably were playing just as well as the Tigers in the later stages of that first half, but the second half has been a different animal. It's been definitely Tigers controlling the possession time. And also, generating way more in terms of scoring chances. This lift pass, you can't play with that high of a stick. So it'll be a Tigers hit, under 7.30 to play. The temperature is dropping here at Memorial Field, but we'll be all right. I'm perfectly fine here inside the beautiful new press box. I don't know how long we're gonna call it new for, but had access to it for a little over a month. I think that counts as still new. Could be another chance for the Tigers, and it is. Give the goal to Velasco. And all of a sudden it's four nothing, and a timeout is called. 6.52 left to go. Mamarinik up 4 0 on Greenwich. We'll be right back. We return following the fourth Tiger goal, third of this second half. And now, with under seven minutes left, see the Tigers take their foot off the gas a little bit. Certainly, you don't want to give up any goals here if you can preserve that shutout, but probably slightly more inclined toward keep away and slightly less toward goal scoring. Well, never mind as this one comes up and they flag it down. But uh, that was uh, that was a that was an attempt at scoring there. No doubt about that. One to Margoski, she keeps it in. Pearson, who I've got in the book with two goals, we'll check that after the game. Certainly has one. That one wide. It'll be a Greenwich. Hit here, just over five minutes left to go. I think that one went off a foot, they'll let Greenwich play it. Send it up the sideline. 4-10 left to play. And Pearson couldn't come away with that one. It's up to midfield. Stopped up nicely by Showers, but they're going to whistle her for it.
And it stays with Greenwich on another infraction. This is Ibarra. Stopped up nicely there by Velasco. This will be another Greenwich hit. That one off a of Greenwich foot, so Tigers have it. Quickly stolen by Ali Simpson. Greenwich just trying to break through and put one on the board here in the final 3-10. Be Zolan with the hit here for the Cardinals. There's that lift, lift pass we've seen a lot today. Comes all the way back into the Greenwich half of the field. Another hit down near two minutes left, 2.15 right now. And they'll have a hit from the far side, about six, seven yards outside the circle. And they'll get another from just a couple yards outside the circle, have to move it back. And they'll play it back, under two minutes to go. Ball comes near side. This will be a Tiger hit. Another Greenwich hit. Simpson tried to center. And the Tigers will clear it away. It's kept in very nicely. There by Margoski. Showers on it now with Margoski in the corner. She's able to flip it up the field. As we're down just about into the game's final minute. Zolan hits the deck, earns the hit. Lift pass. And that's been whistled down almost every time they've tried it for a high stick. You can't put your stick up there to catch it. So 40 seconds left to go. And the Cardinals have been trying to push through these last few minutes and just haven't quite gotten there. Trying to finish off a shutout for Sarah Nitus. Fifteen seconds, ball at midfield. Tigers still on it. It'll be a Tiger hit, five seconds to go. And that will do it here from Memorial Field. The Tigers Took a 1-0 lead in a halftime, put three goals up in the second half, and they defeat Greenwich by a final of 4-0. So make sure you stick around for the post-game show. Stick around, that's coming up next on LMC Varsity Sports. Rob Moretti back here on the post-game show. One more time wrapping up a 4-0 victory for Mamaronek over Greenwich. Little interstate field hockey action. The Tigers improving to 9-2-1 on the season and Greenwich falling to 8-3. A game where Mamaronek, uh, they came out, scored about midway through the first half. Greenwich, you got to give them credit. They came back there in that first half and played the Tigers really tight. The Tigers put the pedal to the metal there in the second half, scoring three goals, including one on a penalty shot two of them from Laney Pearson to walk away with the 4-0 win. Thanks for watching LMC Varsity Sports. I'm Rob Moretti. We'll see you next time.